A while ago, I dealt with five hunk heroes. And uh, if I remember right, I also said that I will come back with five, five style icon actresses who left an impact by the sheer enigma of their style. And uh, picking five was difficult because at the end of that list, I had to exclude people like Zina Taman, Parveen Babi, Madhubala. I also had to exclude contemporaries like Kareena Kapoor, Deepika Padkorn, who may be style statements. But uh, the first top five that I chose uh, would be ones who most people should be agreeing with. The first name to make it in the list is Nargis. From the lady who on horseback on western clothing in Andaz, Mehboob Khan. To Mehboob Khan bringing her into Mother India as the lady, the eternal epitome of the Indian lady. I think that was a full circle in style. Nargis's greatness as a style quotient was that she made black and white look so beautiful. She made her debut as a minor at the age of five in a film called Talash. But her acting career actually began with Tamanna and Takdeer when she was about 14 years. She's also the sibling of Anwar Hussain. She was nominated for the Oscar for Mother India, lost it to Ingrid Bergman in the film Anastasia. She won the inaugural Best Actress National Award, then called Urvashi, and it was given to Nargis Dat for playing the role of uh, a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde kind of a role, a split personality in a film studded with brilliant songs from Shankar Jekishan, Raat or Din. She also won various awards. She was known for social work. She became the first patron of the Spastic Society of India. She became a social worker after she gave up an active career in cinema, later a member of the Rajya Sabha in 1990. The award for the best feature film and national integration at the annual film awards presented by the Directorate of Film Festivals is called the Nargis Dat Award. She seems to have had a long uh, relationship with Raj Kapoor. Pyar ko pyar hi rehne do, koi rishton ka ilzam na do. Probably worked very well with uh, Raj and Nargis. Uh, I'm going to list out some of the Raj Nargis films and you'll be surprised that she had so many films with him. She married Sunil Dutt on March 11, 1958. Story has it that there's this fire scene in um, Mother India when she was caught in flames and uh, Sunil Dutt saved her. This built up the romance that ended in a marriage and three lovely children of whom one went on to be a box office hero, Sanjay Dutt. Uh, in 2011, Rediff listed her as the greatest actress of all time, stating an actress with a range, style, grace, and an incredibly warm screen presence. She was truly a leading lady to celebrate, unquote. She's acted from actors starting with Motilal, Raj Kapoor, Devanand, Dilip Kumar, Balrat Sani, Ashok Kumar, Raj Kumar, Pradeep Kumar, Firoz Khan, Pradeep Kumar, and many others. She loved, as I said, to be a lady in white. I don't know if that was a hang up that came from her association with Raj Kapoor, who also had this uh, lady in white liking. Uh, she formed Ajanta Arts Cultural Troupe with Sunil Dutt which is not only a troupe that had performed time and again uh, when there were national calamities, but particularly was the first troupe to perform in Dhaka 
after the liberation of war of uh, Bangladesh. She won only one Filmfare Award, and for which other film can it be but Mother India? In the four years that preceded uh, 1958, there were only four times the awards were given. Twice it went to Meena Kumari. Once, the inaugural year, incidentally, it went to Meena Kumari for her lovely role in Baiju Bhavra. Then again she won it for Parinita. There was a year when Kamini Kaushal won it. And then that brilliant performance from Nutan in Seema beat Nargis. But Nargis was an amazing actress. And today we are after all talking of style icons. And if you look at the 40s and the 50s and the 40s and the 50s, you would see her as one actress who carried her style so effortlessly. Uh, so the first of the actresses in the list will be Nargis. I told you I'll give you some of her films with Raj Kapoor. Before I give you that list of films she's done with Raj Kapoor, we must remember she was the first film actress to be conferred the Padma Shri title from among the film fraternity. She was the best actress at the Karlo Vivari International Film Festival for her role in Mother India. She won, as I told you, the national award for the best actress in the film Raat or Din. Among the films she's done with Raj Kapoor, let's look at the list. Shri 420, Avara, Barsat, Ah, Aag, Chori Chori, Ashiana, Bevafa, Anhoni, Dhun, Jan Pechan, Pyar, Andaz, Ambar, and Jago Mohan Pyare. If you look at that scene, probably that is the last scene that you will see chronologically in the cinematic career of that wonderful pair, Raj Kapoor. Nargis. At style icon number one, Nargis Dutt. Born September 2nd, 1941 in Karachi, Sindh. Died of cancer, like the predecessor we just spoke about. She died but on December 25th, 2015. She was only child of her parents. Her father was the elder brother of actor Harishiv Dasani, father of actress Babita. Sadna was said to be one of the highest paid actresses of her time from the early 60s to the late 70s, so for about 20 years. She starred in, in those days you didn't do too many films, did you? in about 30 successful films, many of them with Rajendra Kumar, Manoj Kumar, Sunil Dutt, Devanand. Uh, she entered the film industry with a film in the 60s, Love and Simla. It is said that she got the hairstyle because they wanted to close a very broad forehead and it became such a big style with her. Incidentally, she went on to marry the director of her debut film in 1966, R.K. Nair. She also plays, interestingly, a small role as a chorus girl where Nadira does Murmurke Nadek Murmurke in Raj Kapoor's She 420. She also acted in the first exclusive Sindhi film, Abana where she played the role of Sheila Ramani's younger sister. Among the actors she is co-starred with, Devanand, Sunil Dutt, Shami Kapoor, Raj Kapoor, Guru Dutt, Rajendra Kumar, Manoj Kumar, Sanjay Khan, Joy Mukherjee, Dharvendra, Shashi Kapoor, Raj Kapoor, Firoz Khan, Biswajit, Sanjeev Kumar, Kishore Kumar, Parikshit Sahani, Anil Dhawan, and Dindavlat or Dunya with Rajesh Khanna. Bhattamiz, Dil, Dawlat, Dunya, Amanat, Hamdono, Asli, Nakli, Ek Musafir, Ek Hasina. What a musical that was. Mere Mehboob, another great musical. Wo County, Mera Saya, Anita, Arzu, Vakt, Intakham, Rajkumar. Such a 
flopped at the box office. Gaban, based on Prem Chand's uh, story with Sunil Dutt. Chote Sarkar, Ek Pool Do Mali. Oh, endless list of films. Aap Aaye, Bahar Aaye, Arzu, Big Hits with Rajendra Kumar. I would also believe that uh, while she was a glamorous actress, there were films like Parah for Bimal Roy and Asli Nakli for Rishi Kesh Mukherjee. Where is the simple girl? She carried an amazing amount of charm. She also directed a film called Gita Mera Naam, which was produced by her husband, and she played a lead role with Sunil Dutt. Uh, she, of course, had the Lifetime Achievement Award given to her at the IFA. She was nominated uh, twice for a Best Actress Award, but never walked up to take an award. Frankly speaking, I don't think she was a brilliant actress. That's the style quotient. The hairstyle, the tight churidars, the way she walked, the way she spoke. There was always a kind of style that made her a style icon. Position number two, Satna. I didn't know till I did some amount of search that this all-time fave actress of mine and the third in the five star icons that I named, style icons I named today, was born in Hyderabad on December 8, 1944. I know that the family she got married into had Hyderabad connections, but I thought she was a pure-bred Bengali who lived all the time in Bengal. Uh, a Padma Bhushan in 2013, two national awards, one for a film in Hindi, one for a film in Bengali, one as the leading actress and one as a supporting actress. She led the Indian Film Censors Board from 2004 to 2011. She was chosen as UNICEF's Goodwill Ambassador. She was one of the international competition jury members at the Cannes Film Festival in 2009. Related to the Nobel laureate, daughter of Gitendranath Tagore, I'm talking about the dimple, smile, ever elegant Sharmila Tagore. She's related to Rabindranath Tagore through her mother. Her maternal grandmother, Latika Barua, was the granddaughter of Rabindranath Tagore's brother, Vijendranath Tagore. She began her career as a ray product in Bengali cinema, Apur Sansar, as the ill-fated bride in the title character. She went on to do Devi again with uh, Ray, and to believe that the girl who did Apur Sansar in Devi was to come and make her debut in Shakti Samantha's Kashmir Ki Kali can tell you the range of the person as an actress. She also has the distinction of being the first actress wearing the bikini on film fair 1966. Married to yet another great style icon of his times, Mansoor Ali Khan Patodi and former captain of the Indian cricket team. She is the mother of two film actors, Saif Ali Khan and Soha Ali Khan. She won a national award as the best actress for the film Mausam, co-starring Sanjeev Kumar, said to be some kind of an adaptation of A.J. Cronin's The Judas Tree. She won the best supporting actress in Abar Aranya. I hope I've got the pronunciation right, but something tells me I'm far, far away from the truth. Uh, she won the Best Actress Award in the Film Fair for the role that changed the life of Rajesh Khanna, Aradhana. Interestingly, uh, Shakti Samantha's next film also got the heroine, the Best Actress Award, her only in Film Fair, Asha Parekh for Kati Patang. And the story has it that Sharmila could not do Kati Patang because by then she was studying Saif and therefore was not available to doing the film. 
who would know, perhaps she could have got back-to-back -back awards at Filmfare. I think she could have got a couple of more awards, considering what a brilliant actress she was. Uh, she won the Lifetime Achievement Awards at Filmfare, at Screen, and at various other places. Among the actors she's acted with, Somitra Chatterjee, Uttam Kumar, Shami Kapoor, Shashi Kapoor, Balrat Sahani, Dilip Kumar, Devanand, Dharmender, Manoj Kumar, Vishwajit, Shashi Kapoor, Joy Mukherjee, Rajendra Kumar, Rajesh Khanna, Jitendra, Sanjeev Kumar, Amitabh Bachchan. Now, interestingly, the only film she's done with, she's done only one film with Dilip Kumar and one film with Devanand. With Dilip Kumar, she did Dastan for B.R. Chopra and she did Ye Gulistan Hamara Napketan film with Devanan, which dealt probably one of the very, very few films that dealt with the problems of Northeast India. Very interesting film that bombed at the box office. Her film with Ra uh, Rajendra Kumar, O.P. Ralan's Talash, also met the same fate. But all these films have some brilliant songs. Uh, she too was one of the top paid actresses during the 70s alongside Mumtaz. She had a very successful pairing with Dharmender, uh, with whom she's done Devar, Anupama, Mere Hamdam, Mere Do, Satya Kaam, Yakin, Chupke Chupke, Ek Mahal Ho Sapnunka, and Sunny. Uh, she was also a showstopper for designer Rohini Gugnani at the Indian Runway Week. Her other films, some of them, Apur Sansar, Devi, as I said, Shesh Anko, Kashmir Kikali, Vakt, Dhakgar, Anupama, Devar, Nayak, again Uttam Kumar and she in Bengali, Ye Raat Phir Na Aegi, An Evening in Paris, Amne Samne, Ham Saya, Aradhana, Suhana Safar, My Love, Choti Bahu, Daastan, Besharam, Chubwanna Chirukulal, Malayalam, Mississippi Masala, English, Samantar, Marathi, Dharkan in 2000, she did Ekalavya, some more films uh, that uh, I may have missed out, but what an actress. She's the actress who got those rubber band hairstyle done, the back neck bow done, and even to this day, her chiffon sari style at awards and functions, her grace is probably unmatched. Three, Sharmila Tagore. From Sharmila Tagore to another style icon. Strange, I find that in this whole list, she happens probably to be the only actress who walked to get an international award for her beauty and style. No, yes, there's no Aishwarya Rai in my list. There's no Zina Taman in my list. Of course, there's no uh, Priyanka Chopra in my list. So yes, you've guessed it right. She was crowned Femina Miss India in 1994. She went on to win the hearts of everyone and the title Miss Universe in 1994 when she was 18. She is the first Indian woman to win the competition and has since primarily worked in Hindi films. Her parents, Wing Commander Shubir Sen and Shubra Sen, a jewelry designer and an owner of a Dubai-based store, I think got a natural style into her washi blue blood. At, as a celebration of 65th Miss Universe, 23 years after winning the pageant, she returned to Manila, Philippines in 2017 as one of the judges of Miss 2016 beauty pageant. She's adopted two daughters, Rini and Alisa. Sushmita revealed in an interview that she battles Addison's disease and is on lifelong steroid drugs to manage the illness. Kudos to an actress who comes out in public and talks about her illness. This is a new India. I know Deepika Padkorn has done that. And I think at these times, we need to salute such people who stand up and say yes.
we are not gods, we are human beings. Her debut film, Dastak, was the Mahesh Bhatt Factory, 1996, starring Sharad Kapoor and Mukul Dev. Uh, both of them didn't make big name or big noise after that. She did Arya in 2020 with yet another name that doesn't make big news, Chandrachur Singh. She makes a wonderful appearance in Kiza just before the interval. I would tell everybody those days who saw Kiza, don't be in, in a rush to go out to buy your samosas, your chai, and your popcorn. In a film which has a riveting performance, from Hrithik Roshan, a compelling performance from Karishma Kapoor and Jaya Bahaduri's presence itself. She walks away in those three minutes in a style that is so typical of her and something that she's going to come back and do a Kavali as a special appearance in a Subhash Ghai film. She's acted with Shah Rukh, Nagarjuna, Sunny Diol, Ajay Devgan, Salman Khan, Anil Kapoor, Sunil Shetty, Govinda, Abhishek Bachchan, Amitabh Bachchan, Arjun Rampal, Jackie Shroff, Sohail Khan, Shini Ahuja, Fardin Khan, Sanjay Dutt, Akshay Khanna, and Sanjay Kapoor. Uh, multi stars Karishma, Kangana Ranao, Tabu, Manisha Koirala, Katrina Kaif. Rani Mukherjee, Lara Datta, Namrata Shirodkar, Dia Mirza, Amrita Rao, Riya Sen. Her films include Mai Huna, Samay, Sirf Tum, Bivi No. 1, Bevafa, Chingari. Then she's done uh, Anke, very interesting film. Three Blind People, Akshay Kumar, Paresh Rawal, Arjun Rampal, Amitabh Bachchan leading a negative role in the film. It was raining that night, a film in English and Bengali. Philhal, a film done by Meghna Gulzar. She's done Maine Pya Kyun Kiya, Main Aisa Hi Hoon, Do Not Disturb. I think Do Not Disturb and No Problem are things that she should not have disturbed and she should have said, yes, no problem, I won't do the movie. She was one of the best supporting actress Film Fair, Screen, Z, and IFA, all four in 2000 for her role in BV number one. Best supporting actress again in Z for Philhal, where she's sharing screen praise with Tabu. Maybe her filmography could have been longer and larger. I strongly believe that uh, she didn't get her due in our cinema, but as a style icon, Few will debate her presence in the list of the top five. The fifth actress that I am going to name is again somebody whose filmography may not be very rich. It's more contemporary. She has a career ahead. After all, she's born in 1985, exactly in the sixth month of the year, so halfway down the calendar in June. Uh, she began her career as an assistant director with Sanjay Leela Bansali for the highly acclaimed film Block. Uh, you must know that her co-star Ranveer also started his career as a assistant director with Sanjay Leela Bansali. She, however, came onto the other side with him with Ranveer in Savaria, a box office. Her first commercial story that succeeded was three years after her debut in 2007, and that was I Hate Love Stories. Kapoor supports raising awareness for breast cancer and LGBT rights. She's one who stands up and talks, married to Anand Ahuja. She played the eponymous role of, she played the wonderful role of Aisha in the romantic comedy uh, Jane Austen's Emma, which was produced by her sister Rhea. The Kapoor I'm talking about obviously is the fashion queen of in, uh, contemporary times, Sunam Kapoor.
Her co-stars include Salman, Ranbir, Imran, Abhishek, Akshay Kumar, Bobby Diol, Farhan Akhtar, Shahid Kapoor, Dhanush, Ayushman Kurana, Fawad Khan, Pulkit Samrat, Abhay Diol, Dulkir, Salman, and Rajkumar Rao. She did that wonderful film with Kareena Kapoor, Swara Bhaskar, in a single movie. She's also done films with Divya Datta, Rani Mukherjee, and Ira Dubey. As I said just a while ago, she was seen across the world as a fashion statement from India. She was ranked seventh on Times of India's 2010 Most Desirable Women, placing 14, 28, and 14 in the next three years. Was at the top 10 of UK's Eastern Eye World Sexiest Asian Women list from 2011 to 2010. She has acquired several titles at the Filmfare Glamour and Style Awards. She won the Most Stylish Star, Most Elite Style, Substance Award, and she was named the Most Stylish Star Female and Red Carpet Royalty. Part of the many charitable organizations she is concerned with are People for Ethical Treatment of Animals, Organ Cancer Foundation, LA Breast Cancer Campaign. Filmography, rather short. I Hate Love Stories, Neerja, a film that's won her attention and awards. Prem Ratan Dhanpayo, Ek Ladki Ko Dekha To Aisa Laga, an important film that deals with uh, alternate sexual preferences. Bhag Milka Bhag, Aisha, Sanju, Padman, Ranjana. At five, is Sonam Kapoor. Before I sign off, uh, two things. Uh, I acknowledge Abhinav for shooting this entire episode. And two, I name them chronologically. I have not put one above the other. When I say one Nargis, two Sadhna, three Sharmila, four Sushmita Sen, and five Sonam Kapoor, I'm not saying Nargis was the most stylized. I'm saying chronologically, it's Nargis, Sadhna, Sharmila, <coughs> Sushmita, and Suna. Thank you. Do react to this. We'll come back with another list of fives very soon. Bye-bye.